Welcome to a new video. Today I want to talk to you about a Chrome extension that I built for myself because I was looking for something different than what I was using before. But first up, I want to give a huge thank you to those people that have left comments on my last video on this channel. It was really nice to hear from everybody about my experience with those negative comments and also how I'm starting to deal with it and seeing how other people have experienced similar things and also have dealt with it. I'm really thankful for those and now I feel more motivated than before to continue on this journey. But with that, let's jump into this new video here where I want to show you why I moved away from Momentum Dash, which is a Chrome extension that shows up as a new tab browser or in the browser when you open a new tab, why I moved away from it, what I built in exchange for that or how I'm using a different solution now that I made for myself and how you might also be able to utilize something similar. Now starting out, what you can see on the screen here is the Momentum Dash extension. Basically, it's an extension that when you have it installed, gives you a different new tab experience. So every time you open a new tab, either by command T or just opening a new tab with the file menu here, then you would see something like this. The difference between the normal new tab from a Chrome browser or a Brave browser, for example, is that this is way more minimal. You can kind of design it yourself. You can decide what you want to see and what you don't want to see. And some of those extensions actually also have a ton of extra features, like for example, integrations into your to-do list or similar things. With the Momentum Dash, the main focus, at least that's the reason why I installed it to begin with, was that it just shows a picture that is from Unsplash or similar sites of some destination of travel or also just really pretty pictures. What you can see here as well is that you have a time of day, you have some kind of a greeting toward you, and there are many more features that you can enable. However, for me, the goal was always to have an extremely minimal interface, an extremely minimal experience so that I can just stay focused. Some of the more interesting things that I actually liked on the Momentum Dash was the function for a focus. And then there was also something around a, where is it? Quotes. So that there is a little bit of a quote down here at the bottom of the screen. And the focus area is something where you could type something yourself. And there you would then have that as a reminder every single time you open a new tab. And then lastly, you have these mantras that sometimes replace your greeting and such things. As I've mentioned, however, I moved away more and more from these kind of like um, different things that this actually offers. And now with the pandemic and also kind of my state of mind, I actually also had a moment of, I don't know, a different desire, let's say that, because this here always shows me one, the time, and additionally, it shows some kind of very pretty location that I could travel to. However, because of all kinds of different reasons, and one of them you're obviously aware of, we can't really do that right now. And with that, these pictures here actually kind of became depressing of some sort or in some way. And this may not be true for you. And maybe for you, these pictures are perfectly inspiring. However, I noticed in myself, I wanted to have something different here. I wanted a even more minimal experience in terms of the new tab opening. And with that, I went on a quest to see what other solutions may be out there. Before this, I pretty much used Momentum Dash in every single browser and I would actually still recommend it to a lot of people if you are looking for something that shows you pretty pictures and also if those other integrations are interesting for you in any kind of way. Now there are also different solutions or different extensions that are doing the same thing. For example, there's one that shows you something from the Google artwork picture selection. Then there's also a Google Earth extension that just shows you satellite images of different locations on the planet Earth, which is also really, really cool because you kind of get to know the planet and how different things can look. But again, not the reason why I'm looking into this because actually that once more sparks this drive to go out there and want to travel. And as I've mentioned, that's not possible right now. So this is something that is a no-go for me right now. 
Now, something else that I found was that there are a couple of those extensions that are extremely minimal. For example, there are some that just show you a white page instead of anything else on the screen. Then again, I like to use dark mode and those extensions, or at least some of those extensions, don't actually support dark mode. And with that, you are having this glaring white screen scream at you every time you open a new tab, which also kind of defeated the purpose. So with all that consideration out of the way, actually I ended up looking into how can I actually build this myself and how can I make this my own so that I can feel like that is showing me something that I want to see. That's something that's inspiring for me and such. And with that, I also thought about how I could possibly even publish this so that you can use it as well in your Chromium based browsers like Brave or Chrome. And actually, it's not that hard. And with that, I was off to the races to start the development of my own little Chrome browser extension to show a new tab, which is very minimal and also has a couple of features. In the beginning, it was bare bones just for me so that I could actually hard code pretty much everything into it. And then with the thinking of maybe I want to change things up every now and then, I actually also started adding some customization features. And lastly, I also want to mention that this extension now with the starting point or the default settings is actually also based on something that is currently really inspiring for me. And that is the learnings that I'm taking away from Jocko Willink, who is a retired Navy SEAL and overall pretty badass personality that I have listened to a couple of his books now, as well as the podcast and such things. And it's just a very interesting take on how masculinity works for me. At least that's how I am currently exploring it in the sense of exploring my own masculinity, those aspects of Navy SEAL like behavior, the discipline equals freedom and such things. But those are topics that I want to touch on in future videos that I am working on. And I just wanted to mention this because some of the default settings of this extension and also the name are inspired from those experiences and learnings that I'm currently taking away from Jocko Willing's teachings. So with that, let's jump over to how this new extension looks. And as you can see, it is super minimal. The color scheme is one that I've been using for about a decade at this point. The text almost fades into the background by not having that stark of a contrast. And it is just two simple text elements that you can actually change to say whatever you want. So basically, whenever you open a new tab, you are greeted with a very simple design. You have just simply a headline text and a kind of like a second headline or a sub headline. And those are actually changeable. So what you can do is you can actually double click onto the text area right here. And there you can then start typing something different. For example, we could write something like discipline equals freedom. And with that, we already have changed this by simply clicking out of the text area. And this is now actually also saved. And as I open a new tab, now you can see we have this text already showing up there. So just simply by tapping out of the text area, this is automatically being saved. And with that, it's just done. Now, if you want to go back to the default value, you can again double click this, remove all of the text and just simply click out of this text area. And then it is basically reset to the default value automatically for you. The same thing can be done with the lower text area right here. That also can be changed. And with that clicking out of it, you are already saved. And here you have this already showing up in a new tab. Again, clearing it out you have nothing in it and then click out of it. It's back to the default value. Now this is all looking nice as long as your screen's big enough. But what happens if you make your screen smaller or your window? And actually it goes there with you. So it actually scales based on the size of your screen up to the point which you see on this here now. 
Now, the last thing that I also programmed into this is a customization of the colors. And that is so that you can make this more of your own. So that it may be fitting your theme of your browser, for example, or if you have some kind of a favorite color, then you can of course set those as well. And if you want more contrast for the text, for example, that's also a possibility. For changing those values of the colors, you simply double click anywhere into the area around the text. And with that, you have the set settings opening up or the options right here. And there you can see you can change the background color, the color of the text, and you can see restore everything to the default values, which includes the text as well as the colors in the background and of the text, of course. And if we just click that now, nothing changes because there's of course already everything at the default. And so the background color can be changed by simply clicking onto this button. And then you have this color picker. And there we can, for example, take this and make this some kind of a sand color. So let's pick something like this. And now we can click OK and again, opening a new tab, this is already saved and ready to go. And the same thing can be done with the text color. Simply take this and move it around. And then we are done, have the white on sand color and close the options. And with that, you have chosen your own color scheme for this. Now, I'm not sure how many customizations I will add to this right now. This is everything that you can do with it. And I'm not really going to add anything anytime soon because this is what I want as a feature set. However, I am very much looking forward to your feedback and if you have any specific ideas. Right now, as I've mentioned, this should be just very minimal. And if it is something that is motivating you to have your own text show up there in those bold letters, then that is amazing. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below if you start using this. And now in terms of how you can actually start using this, I actually looked into how I can submit this to the Chrome extension store so that it could be easily installed from there. However, there is also a fee to even be able to publish something to that Chrome extension store. And right now I'm just not willing to do that yet. However, the code for this extension is actually open sourced on GitHub and you can find the links to everything in the description down below. Now, when you get there, you can see here, we have a whole bunch of code or basically these, the settings or the different scripts that are necessary for this. And I have a bit of a description underneath so that you can have a bit of a understanding what is going on here. However, if you have seen this video, you have a better understanding of this extension than if you just read the text on here. And this is the place where I will make updates to this code and I will publish them here. And if you want to install this application yourself, you can actually just click on this green button here and download it as a zip file. And once you have done that, you can go and open this up so we can unpack this. And then we have a folder, which is basically just a copy of everything that is right here in the GitHub repository. And to install this, you can then go into your extensions tab. There you can say you want to have the developer mode. So usually it looks like this and you open up the developer mode. This is of course in Brave. It may be different in Chrome itself, but basically you can click on load unpackaged. And with that, you are then asked to find the files and you point it to the folder that you have those files in and say select. And then it basically shows up like this. And as soon as you open a new tab, it will actually ask you if you want to keep this because it is overriding the previous active new tab page. So just say OK on that. And then you have this active. Now what you then can do to not have that anymore is you can find the get some new tab and disable it right here with this button or remove it from the settings or from the extensions as well with the remove button. I may actually release a packaged version of this in the future once I figure all of that out. 
And also in the future, I may actually release this on the Chrome extension store so that you can install it through that official way and then also get automatic updates that way. Right now, automatic updates I don't think are possible. So that's something that I'm actually working on how to set all of that up. And once there are users and interest, then I also am considering adding it to the Chrome extension web store so that you can actually just get it from there. So this is the basic overview of an extension that I built myself. This is one of those things that I love about being able to understand and write code. If you don't know how to do those things, I can highly recommend just looking into online resources and looking into how you can learn a couple of those things because you can make so many things. It's possible to just change a lot of things, automate a lot of things, and sometimes make things like this that are just motivating to yourself and especially whilst also creating that thing because it's not just the motivation that I get from seeing this but also the aspect of hey I had about two hours and now I made something that I can see every single time I open a new tab and it's kind of my style it's my thing that I created. And that's really powerful. And I see that in many different avenues as well. For example, with Alfred workflows to create something that automates certain tasks that I do all the freaking time. And that here is so helpful when you know how to make those things happen, how to code those things for yourself. And with that, I actually think that I'm going to talk more about these things because it's really fun to get those things rolling, make them yourself and get something to work like this. And if this is interesting for you, of course, please leave a comment down below. I want to know about what you find interesting, how we can engage in that, and maybe how I can help you learn more about these aspects. What videos would you find helpful in that regard, for example? And of course, if you have any thoughts, feedback, or questions about this extension, you can also leave those in the comment section down below. I'm very much looking forward to interacting with you there. That's going to be a exciting ride because this is one of the many projects that I currently have on my timeline that I have been working on, that I built, and that I want to now start sharing more of with you here in this community. Now, if you found any of this helpful, inspiring, or informative, I would appreciate a thumbs up on this video. That always helps out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Make it your life, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.